welcome to vlog number 14. I have just done this whole thing talking to you and it wasn't blooming recording. So now I've got to remember that what I said hasn't been said. Anyway, hello, thank you for joining me. I have moved again and um, I have come from the Silver Coast and I'm back down in Anadia. And um, yeah, just because I am. I just want to start by saying, I don't know if you can hear this, but my neighbour has just been singing for ages. He's just singing the same song over and over again. I don't know if you can hear it, but just for a treat for you, because I know you don't want to miss out, I'm going to record a bit and put it at the end. It's, oh, I, I don't know, you might be able to hear it, I don't know, but starting to drive me mad a little bit. It's been going on for 40 minutes. It's the same song over and over again. Anyway, sorry, I digress. So, um, as I've moved again, on the topic of moving, I thought I'd tell you about my experience of using Algarve removals. One, because it's just useful anyway. I know I found that sort of thing useful when I was sort of um, looking back in the UK and looking into everything. And it's... Um, I think it's useful when people share their experiences anyway. So, and the other reason is I've seen on some forums and people mentioning that the company I used, Algarve Removals, have doubled their prices and hiked up their prices post-Brexit. I didn't find this, um, so I'm not quite sure what's going on there. I mean, I must say I wasn't doing a whole van load, a whole house removal, um, I just had a small amount of stuff. So um, the only thing I can think of is they do have to pay, you have to pay customs on your own, your own secondhand stuff, but you have to pay customs now. So that's where your extra cost is going to be. However, you don't have to pay VAT. So you save there. So I don't know, but, but in my experience, it's been fine. It actually cost me a lot less. I think it was brilliant. So back at the end of last year, I asked for a quote. So this was before the end of December. So the pre-Brexit, final Brexit extension quote was £350. This is pounds, not euros. They gave it to me in because they're a British company. Um, £350 plus VAT for a king-size bed a king size mattress, a, oh, it feels like a generation game, a um, adult bike, um, two large suitcases, five boxes and a rug. And they, obviously they work it out per cubic um, metre. So that quote was for three cubic metres. Um, and it includes a door to door service and um, £25,000, I think, of insurance cover. They do have a packing service as well, but for me, my quote was, my stuff was already packed and boxed up. And they do a weekly service. So I also got a quote from an independent guy, and his quote was, now his quote was in euros, which was 600 euros, which is about £520. But... I inquired with this guy in February, but he couldn't book me in until the end of April. So that was a no brainer. I was obviously going to use Algar removals. My original quote was £350 plus VAT. However, now we are out of Brexit, they don't have to pay VAT, but they do have to pay customs. So what I lost in having to pay customs, I gained in not having to pay VAT. So my quote was identical. Um, it was less because I ended up taking less, but for comparison, it would have been identical. However, like I said, it's probably very different if you've got a whole van load. I just had a small amount of stuff, but it's just worth knowing that and bearing that in mind. Um, so the other thing is, um, like people sort of say, oh, why bother? Just buy the stuff again. Well, let me tell you, um, my mattress, oh God, it's so lovely. It's so nice to have it here. It's like sleeping on a cloud. My mattress, if I was to buy it here, would cost me a thousand euros. 
um, my bike, funny enough, I went into a bike shop to look at buying a bike and um, the guy said, oh, we don't have any bikes. Uh, I, I thought he was joking. I was like, oh, yeah, it's really funny. You're a bike shop and there's bikes everywhere. He said, no, no, we don't have any bikes. We've had a shortage. We can't, everybody wants has been wanting bikes over the past year and we haven't been able to get any more or out of stock so that was a no-brainer uh might as well get my bike over um you know the only other sort of big thing i had in there was my vitamix that that would have cost a lot to replace there are some things that are a lot more expensive here in portugal so just for my bike my the other thing about my bike i'm really tall so it's a nice uh, large frame bike and I just wouldn't want to be hunting around for another one like that again um, so my bike my Vitamix and my mattress just those three items alone you're talking nearly two thousand pounds that would that was um yeah well worth the 310 pounds that I paid did I say this but I'll check the um invoice but I think the customs they worked it out at 10 euros no 10 pounds because this is all in pounds they charge they're a british company 10 pounds per cubic meter is what you have to pay in customs um which is bizarre because i could have a whole load of toot or i could have really high-tech expensive stuff but it just it's the same it just goes on the volume uh so yeah so um that was how that was worked out. So, and just back to sort of like, why bother? You know, and people sort of saying, oh, just buy it all again. For me personally, I don't, I don't like shopping. I can't be bothered to go hunting for my stuff again. I mean, just trying to find a mattress alone. It's not just about the money. It's about having what you like. So just for the convenience, I mean, for some people, the thought of having to um shop for everything again is a dream come true for them and love shopping for some people it's their worst nightmare so it depends on you it's a bit of a blanket um opinion to say oh just do one way or the other so obviously there's things to consider the hassle of uh buying everything again um obviously some things if you're starting a new life there's that buying new getting everything again anyway but there's some things you're always going to need a Vitamix is a Vitamix and a bike is a bike and a mattress that's like sleeping on a cloud is um you just want that mattress and that cloud so um yeah so there's more to consider than just cost and uh so there's another thing talking of customs if you are moving from relocating rather from UK to Portugal a little bit like with the car importation you're kind of like entitled to bring your stuff one time um duty free uh, just like how you can bring your car you can't um you can't buy a new car and think I'll take that over or you can bring your car which you have had and owned for I think it's a year so it's the same with your stuff if you you can um, get what's called a certificate of baggage which means you can bring your goods to relocate um, without paying duty if it's anything like the car importation I mean it wouldn't be been worth it for my little bits of stuff um, if it's anything like the car importation, I can't imagine the paperwork, but I do know that you need um, uh, like proof of your living in the UK for a year. So things like utility bills and, you know, the usual stuff. Um, you need uh, proof of cancelling your residency in the UK. So something like, I don't know, who deregisters for their GP? Maybe people do, but... One of the examples I saw was um, deregistering from your GP, obviously final, closing your utility accounts and your final bills, that sort of thing. Um, you also have to, a bit like with the car matriculation, you have to 
prove that you've given up your residency in the UK and you are now transferring that to a residency in Portugal. They're very similar. The other thing, as with the car matriculation, which I've got my appointment to do, you have to go to the British Embassy and declare that you are cancelling your residency in the UK and you have to, I don't know whether you have to go to the British Embassy the same for the um duty on your household goods but you have to apparently declare that you are giving up residency in the UK I'm guessing it must be the same but anyway as you can hear I haven't been through this but this is what I was told by the removal company another removal company I just happened to be chatting to and um, from having a quick look online but he categorically told me he said yep I've got two in my van that I'm doing certificates that I'm doing now it's called a certificate of baggage which means you do not have to pay duty on your stuff and it's like a one-time thing the idea is that you it's your relocating allowance so to speak so I think I remembered everything the singing has stopped thank god um actually we're lucky that we didn't have any other interruptions like a chicken wandering in or feral cats wandering up the stairs or dogs barking Oh my God, there's a yappy dog here. That, to be honest, if I had a little catapult, I might just ping some potatoes down at him or something because oh, he's annoying. But anyway, I digress. I hope you found that useful. If you have got any questions, um, I'll put them in the comments and I can only um, answer through my experience. Or if you know anything, or if you've done the certificate of budget, certificate of bag baggage yourself to help other people um put those in the comments that'd be really nice so we've got to share each other's experiences to help one another out so thank you for joining me i'm gonna go out in the sun